Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got something interesting to show you here, what we call a borrowed neutral. So this is a light fitting that is on the wall and we have our live red wire and two black wires coming down. Now for this video I've swapped my cables on the multimeter around just because I have the crocodile clip on the black one. So the black is actually on the voltage positive and the red is on the common on the multimeter. It won't actually make a difference either way around, to be honest, but just for, to make sure it's 100% correct, they are in the correct slots. So what I've done here, that red one is on and then the one neutral, that is the circuit that will complete for the light back to the distribution board. So if I put the light on on the multimeter here and I measure the voltage, you'll see there's 225. So that's the correct neutral for this circuit. So this other neutral here is actually to an outside light on a veranda outside. But because there was an extension done to the house, that light, the positive side, was rewired to run with two additional lights. And they are on a different circuit now, a completely different from a different room. So what happened was they have been put on a different phase as well. So they're no longer even on the same phase here. So what happens here, if I measure the voltage now with that light on, you'll see that there's 302, 303 volts. It's, it's varying a bit. And that's because of the different resistance there from the bulb and the fitting outside. So the, the borrowed neutral is, is in that light coming back because the, the live wire is from that circuit from the other room and it comes to the light and then the neutral is coming back here and it was never rewired when they changed the, the positive side of that light. So that's incorrect. It does work. It can work like that. It's not correct though, because what can happen is, say someone is working on this light circuit here or the other light circuit, that side. They've switched off the circuit breaker for either circuit, but they've left the other circuit running. So these lights are running and those are off, or the, these ones are off and that one's on. So say like this one I've now, I've opened here. There is the potential for me to get a shock. If even if these are off, just because this one is actually now almost at phase voltage to the ground, it, it will resist with the bulb a bit, but it's still enough to give someone a shock. And when you're working up a ladder with a light that's in a ceiling or something like that, you do not want to get a shock because you'll fall off the ladder and injure yourself. So things of a, like this with the borrowed neutral are not allowed. You must never share a neutral from a different circuit through your circuit. There is also the potential to overload the neutral if you have more than, say, the 10 amp rating of the cable and you're running 20 amps worth of lights back through, even if they say they were on the same phase. So that's why borrowed neutrals should never happen. You can loop your neutrals through the same lights, even the same light circuit, even though the light fittings may be on different switches. As long as it's on the one circuit breaker, you can, you know, loop the neutrals through, that's fine. But because of this having this issue, that neutral up top here, this one, is coming out, and I'm going to rewire the other light fitting from the other lights, that side, from the middle one, to this end veranda light here. So I'm going to climb in the roof next, and then I'll show you up in the roof where this neutral goes compared to where the, the other one comes from, from the, the board. I'll show you up there what it looks like. Right, so I'm up in the roof here. And you can see there are actually two lots of wires. This side here, these are plugs. There's a plug below those lights that you saw in, in the room there. And then these are the wires. So there's your live and the two neutrals coming out. Now the neutral, that's the issue, is this one here. So this is the one I need to bring out of there. So that comes up out 
of there completely and you can see that's the one I had cut off on the other side there so that leaves the two going down to the lamp and then this one you'll see that comes around here this is the old style of wiring that they did in South Africa and you can see there there's the neutral there and it comes here along this way that's the old um, power supply wire that went with it and there it goes along this way to that light there you see so here's here's where the neutral is going in there and I see there's actually another old neutral connected in there too hmm so we have a problem that that's going to have to come out too I think that light was disconnected because it sits heading off that way to that pipe there but as far as I know that light doesn't exist anymore okay but now you'll see here this red here is coming through this conduit and that's the part I said was rewired and that's heading off the opposite direction from where we were there it's 180 degrees across that way so that one's heading across there to the next um, veranda light in the circuit so I've got my roll of twin and earth 1.5 millimeter cable and that will be what I'm going to use there yeah you can see here there's a red that was disconnected so that was obviously the old circuit that came in that was disconnected there so that that actually can come out and there's there are two of them because of that other fitting and there's the neutral so all these are actually obsolete I can pull that whole lot out and then that's going to that light there from this side here I hope you enjoyed this uh, this is just to show you borrowed neutrals and what a problem they can be hidden danger because you don't know that it's there and it can shock you oh, it's a potential fire hazard too like I explained but especially that shock hazard is not a good thing that you know you're working on something you think is dead so always the best is to switch off the main circuit breaker the RCD or the main for the whole um, installation and then you know you're safe if you found this useful, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe. Give it the thumbs up as well and come back and check out. I'll have some more videos coming soon. Um, one with a trick with RCDs as well. So yeah, pop back sometime when you can. Cheers. Bye.